decided to get the Galfa wave and um, it's a fine looking piece of steel floating style with um, aluminium center. Yeah, I actually carry this extension bar on my bike under the seat and um, that means I can pop out the great big um, 32mm socket and uh, not have to stress about damaging my hands or ruining tools that are supplied by KTM. Anytime you go to take off the KTM rear wheel, you want to be aware that your ABS sensor is very close to the slotted disc there. So a T30 Torx wrench and um, loosen off this. So just pull the shaft out a little bit. And pop that on the guide. So now I've got uh, my gloves all greased up. I'll take the gloves off. They're inside out. And then roll that wheel out. Them up to the side. And there's the comparison. If I pop them on top of each other, it has a, a, an identical circumference um, to the contact area, should be exactly the same minus the holes. I have used permanent Loctite on these bit more. A uh, couple of things I don't like about it, it's got, um, they've beveled the edges here, but um, they've left the other faces very sharp. And from experience on another KTM with a wave, I noticed this cut into the pads quickly. So I'm going to grind that back. Yeah, and just um, take the new disc and put it on. Okay, I've uh, got a new set of pads and I like to mark them up with some red. This has got two holes in it. So if you put the first one in on the outside, you can get an alignment point for the second one. A bit easier. And then push that back in. And uh, don't forget to spread the pads ever so slightly with a screwdriver. Uh, that's just going to make it that much easier to get the disc back in, a pair of screwdrivers. 
ABS sensors out the way. So I'm ready to rock and roll here. Sort of have to play a jiggling game to get the disc in and at the same time not knock the bush out. Yeah, not the easiest of things to do. So at this point I'm going to pull the chain back on. Put my shaft back in. Going to reinsert the ABS rear sensor, Hall effect sensor, little magnet uh, sensing the passing, the transducer, the passing of the metal gaps. And um, really noticing some little ridge at the end on the wear. So I had to use the back of the caliper to push through the disc to establish the thickness because um, the caliper just wouldn't go over this end ridge KTM has um, made the disc slightly larger. The contact area on the KTM is only 23 millimeters radius and comparing that to the Africa Twin I noticed it has a 30 millimeter contact area radius. So I'm not sure the wisdom of these um, these particular factory shipped discs on the rear. We're looking for 40 to 45 mil play just here on the chain. So I'm just going to set my chain tension, crack it with a 13 and tighten it up with a 10. Okay final checks are that um, the main nut is tight and I've used the 10s and the 13s to reset the tension. 13 to lock it off. And lastly, but not least, here you can see the uh, ABS sensors back in. Find that if you take the extension bar and place it under the wheel, it raises the wheel just enough to be able to get the shaft through easily. If you have a close look at the setup that I've had for the last five years, I do run a cool mule uh, finned heatsink on the line running back to the cylinder. I'd recommend you replace the brake fluid with. Motul 660.4 racing fluid. It has a much higher boiling point of 325 centigrade. I did this and it stopped all brake fade on the rear. And I've also installed a much stronger foot spring uh, to give me more feel for the brake when I push it. Because I'm wearing Garnet motocross boots when I'm riding most of the time. <laughs>